Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. We've got the face cam on today, I've got my phone. We're going to be doing a Q&A video. I'm going to be away for a few days in Scotland at a film festival in Glasgow. So if you're, I guess, in Glasgow, say hi on Twitter or something like that. Uh, and if you happen to be attending, say hi. But anyway, so this is going to be recorded before, and it's going to be uploaded hopefully in a few days. Presumably, maybe Saturday or Friday or something like that. I'm gonna try and squeeze in the time because I don't really have time to make videos every day. But anyway, this is my Q and A. I've been promising this for a long time, and sorry if I look there. I've got a few questions here, and I've got a few questions on here. And thank you for all your submissions. There's tons of you guys that actually sent them in, so highly appreciated. So it's a mix, man. It's like a mishmash of like. Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, Legends, DC, to do with me, you know, anything really. So a mix of everything, and I think that's very good. So sorry if I, you know, I'm not looking into the camera every time. Like I said, I've got my phone and I've got it written down over here. Maybe I can just move it up a bit. But anyway, so let's get into this and talk about these questions. So I'm going to read off the screen first and read these questions first. So number one, fandom Greek. Fandom Geek says, how old are you? You seem highly professional at a young age. Thank you. And <clears throat> I am actually just turned 18 years old a few months ago, so I don't know if most people know that or not by now, but yeah. Alright, Callum Martin says, what's your top villains across all of DC TV? My top villains across DC TV is definitely, I'm not going to like rank them, maybe I will, but my best, my most favourite ones are Zoom is definitely my number one, Reverse Flash, Prometheus and Rain, and then I think Deathstroke is up there as well, and Savitar's not far behind, I really do like Savitar. So, alright, next question, we have Brian Batista. And Brian says, what is your real name? Um, my real name's Ben. Yeah, nice simple question. Okay, Scar Dominator asks, Flash seasons ranked. And then he puts number one, season three, number two, season two, number three, season five, number four, season one, number five, season four. Wow, I've never seen a list like that before. Most people will put number one or number two first. Um, so hot takes um but i would go number one i my favorite season is season two and then number two is season one so two one and then number three is season three i guess if i'm going to include season five i'm liking it a lot more than season four so i go number four season five and number five i would go season four i didn't really like season four that much Okay, so let's move on. Now we're going to copy and look at some on my phone. Maybe I'll get to show you. Which one? Okay, so Alyssa asks, which one of the CW shows do you think is renewed for the final season? How do you think Cisco will exit The Flash? Okay, so this is like a double question. I don't know if you can see it. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's too bright. I've got paint all over my hands, by the way. That's what it is. Um... So which one of the CW shows do you think is renewed for the final season? I think they're going to keep all the seasons. If any of the CW shows, I would say, if they were to go, I would say it's probably either Black Lightning or Legends. Because they don't pull in that great ratings, but the, they are still really great for the CW, don't get me wrong. Um, so yeah, either one of those two. How do you think Cisco will exit The Flash? I think he sort of will just slide out just really kind of nicely. Um, although I think it might affect the next season, which I definitely do think it will. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Um, will Wynn actually return to the show, and if so, what will happen to Brainiac 5? Yeah, and this is actually asked by Lena12345. Sorry, I keep on forgetting to say the names. Um, so, will Wynn actually return to the show? Yeah, he will. They've confirmed, supposedly, he's returning next season. He's continuing his Broadway run until that very time. So, yeah, I do believe he'll be back, I think. Uh, you can't promise for this season, and then you promise for the next, and then not give it back, because that's just, like, 
evil. That's just evil. Like, pure evil. Um, so yeah, I do believe he'll be back, and what will happen to Brainiac 5? I think Brainiac 5 will probably end up leaving very soon, because he's not that critical to the show, he just sort of adds this sort of missing bit that perhaps Wynn has, but I think Wynn has more heart, and Brainiac's just sort of all humour. But even though I do like him, don't get me wrong, um, but I think Brainiac is just all about that humour, that's why he's in the show. So I think he will go sometime if Wynn properly returns. Alright, next question. Will Legends of Tomorrow help Supergirl, Flash, Green Arrow for Crisis on Infinite Earths? Yeah, they definitely will. I think they're going to want to try and actually capitalise on all four shows so they can make it longer because Crisis is quite big. And so yeah, I believe they will return to help. Okay, next question. Um, now that John Diggle's doppelganger is Green Lantern, do you think he should have a CWC spin-off series about him. I'm guessing you're talking about the animated series, because CWC is where they do it. Yeah, that would be really interesting, and I really want to see John Diggle as Green Lantern, whether it's live action or animated, so I, I think it could happen. Alright, let's move on to the next bit. Uh, what made you want to do videos about reviewing and making theories about shows and movies and more? Well, I remember, so story time here, Going back to The Flash season 2 near the end, so just before then, at the mid-season finale, I remember looking at videos like, oh, who is the man in the Iron Mask? Because I have my own ideas, and I have my ideas for who Zoom is. I guessed that Jay Garrick was the man in the Iron Mask. Got that myself. I was very proud of myself. I know a lot of people did, but... Yeah, so I guess he was a real Jay Garrick, and I guessed that... Um, Hunter was actually, or in fact, the fake Jay Garrick was Zoom, so I got that right, and so I was like, pretty impressed with myself, but at the time, after that, I saw videos from a unknown pagey to me at the time, I just listened to him, I was like, oh, it's just a, just an Aussie who was watching the show, oh, he's got some good theories, pretty good theories, so I kind of like his videos, but I'd always been a fan of Emergency Awesome from the very start. I watched him since Legend of Korra, so many years before, maybe like three, four years before, I'd always been watching Emergency Awesome, so I guess it roots from him. But then, so that's where I liked watching the videos, right? So I started to get into more and more, but especially Emergency Awesome, and then slowly Paige and some other people. But the main start for me in making my videos was the first time I ever made a video talking about the shows was at the end of season 2 of The Flash with Zoom and you know the time remnants and how it was sort of reminiscent of Crisis that's how like I actually made a video but I deleted it or I forgot to upload it or something um, but yeah that's where it all started because I was like oh my god I, I know so much I can say so much about it and I need to say something and I didn't end up saying anything, but yeah, so that's when it started, but my I started my channel in that summer, and my first video was about Miss Martian coming to Supergirl in Season 2, so yeah, that, that that's long story time, but there you go. Alright, moving on to the next question, um, do you see a TV show just called The League being a possible TV show on CW, sort of just like the Justice League Unlimited cartoon that used to be. Um, and this, sorry if I keep on forgetting to say the names, that's by Mike Becker. Um, do I see a League TV show? I think it's possible. I think it'll be more along the lines of Legends of Tomorrow. I could see a Justice Society of America TV show, but I don't believe we will see a Justice League TV show only due to the fact that they've got the films, I reckon they will eventually get around to doing a Justice League 2, so not in the near future, but maybe they will do a Justice Society. Alright, moving on to the next question. Um, what's your favourite episodes for each one of the shows? So off the top of my head, I don't have this planned out or anything, um, I really love um, Capuchon, and uh, I believe it's what we left behind in Arrow season five. So that would be my Arrow picks. Um, and I also really like the scientist. 
and that's when Barry was first introduced on Arrow. The Flash. My favourite episode is the musical crossover episode. Um, and also... This is hard. This, why you put me under pressure? Um, probably the Enter Zoom episodes. There's two part episodes when we went to Earth 2 for the first time. They were amazing. Supergirl. Um, probably episode one, the pilot episode. I love the episode. You know, when Fight Song comes on and it's like her flying off for the first time. I, I remember just watching that and freaking out. Um, and also the Supergirl Flash crossover because I did not expect it. I heard the news. But I totally forgot because it was a while before. And then I heard the Flash theme song play and the Supergirl episodes in season one. And I freaked the shit out. So yeah. Those are those ones. And Legends. <sighs> I don't know if I can pinpoint a Legends episode. Because they're all kind of similar but quirky in their own little different ways. So... Yeah, I, I I can't name Legends one off the top of my head. Alright, let's move on to the next question. So, um, who's your favourite couple from the Arrowverse? Okay, uh, controversial pick time. Kara and Mon -El. Like, you all know that by now, but um, not everyone likes them, but loads of people love them. I love them. Um... But then, apart from those two, I would say uh, Barry and Iris, definitely. I, I really do love them together, and it really showed how much I cared about them when it was in that musical episode, which is my favourite episode of DC TV, coincidentally, when Barry sung that song to Iris when they actually proposed. So, yeah, that, that was amazing. So, I would say that after that, and... I would, oh, I don't know, I really do like a lot of these couples, sorry, my recorder was just spazzing out, um, like, Alex and Maggie, definitely up there, um, I, I did like the idea of Barry and, and Caitlin, but I really do like Barry and Iris, alright, let's move on to the next question, sorry for the sort of elongating of that bit because my, my screen was breaking and sorry if my eyes are like sort of like sort of drooping because it's kind of hard to stare into a camera for a long time all right let's move on to the next bit um favorite five characters all right so obviously i have to say the main one so the flash so barry Kara, oliver and then if i'm adding on a few other characters i would go alex monel Caitlin, Sarah Lance, um, hmm, yeah, those are probably my picks. Alright, let's move on to the next question. Uh, which villains do you want to see on Supergirl Season 5? If I'm going to pick any villains for Supergirl Season 5, I say stick to Supergirl villains. I don't have a specific pick right now, but I'd say stick to Supergirl villains. Don't go to Superman villains. I don't want to see Lex Luthor be the main villain. I know he's coming this season, but I don't want him to be the main villain. I just want it to be a Supergirl villain. That's par partially the reason why I think Rain was so good was we haven't seen her before. You know, it's something new. It's not something that we've seen in billions of films and TV shows. And we've just seen Lex Luthor so many times and like Zod. Ugh. Yeah. I'm just kind of bored of that, so Supergirl villain, any Supergirl villain. Um, Alright. Uh, what are your thoughts on Legion of Superheroes spin-off series on CW? Um, I would love that. I, As I said, if that is a way, if Chris is not going to return as mon to the Supergirl TV show, and if we get... Amy Jackson and everyone and you know build up this sort of like I said this could be the Justice League TV show or it could be the Justice Society but I think this perhaps is a better pick get Legion Superheroes get Amy Jackson get everyone from Supergirl and all these shows incorporate excess incorporate Nora Allen because in the comics she is in fact 
part of the Legion of Superheroes, or well, XS is in the comics. So that would be really interesting. I would be so down for that. All right, let's move on to the next bit. Um, how do you think XS will end up? Oh shit, I forgot to say who said the question. Um, so for the which villains question, it was um, King Alfonso. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then uh, Mega Wubba said it for the Legion of Superheroes question. Sorry for forgetting to say it. All right, the comic woman asks, um, how do you think XS will end up? I think XS is going to be erased at the end of the season. I think there is a possibility if that Thorn gets away and they don't change the future, I think there's a possibility she stays on. But my best bet right now, and I think your best bet, would be that she's probably going to be erased from the timeline. All right, moving on to the next question. Um... Flash Time says, do you think Red Death is the Flash Season 6 villain? I think there's a high possibility and I would be really down. I really want to speed the villain again. So, I think they are going to go back to their base 6 in Season in season 6. So yeah, I think Red Death is a high possibility. Um, Alright, let's move on to the next question. What do you think about Oliver's death in Crisis on Infinite Earths? I don't think Oliver's actually going to die. I know they teased it, but I think the pact they made is going to be somehow broken, and I don't think Oliver's going to die because it makes no sense. Arrow's renewed for an entire season next season. If Oliver dies, are Oliver that stupid? I think they're going to incorporate different versions of our characters. If you've read Crisis, you know there's two versions of Superman. You know, on one Earth, there's Supergirl, one Earth, there's Wonder Woman. So I think perhaps a different version of Oliver will die and different versions of our heroes will die, but I don't think our heroes will. Alright, moving on to the next question. Um, what heroes do you want for Crisis? Like I said, I want returning characters as well. I want mon -El. He's part of um, Crisis on Infinite Earths, even though it's a small part. Um, I would really like to see Earth 2 Superman. I would like to see Alexander Luthor. He was a massive part in it. Um, and then some various other heroes, but those would be my picks, my number one picks. Okay. Um, uh, do you think Supergirl would die in Crisis? I don't think Supergirl would die. Like I said, I think maybe a different version of her, maybe like a Power Girl would be interesting to see if perhaps she dies. Um, alright, let's move down. Who's your favourite person from DC? Um... So, I would have to go between The Flash and Supergirl, and I can't decide. Both of them. <laughs> Cheating. Um, Alright. Who wins, Black Canary or Silver Banshee? This is a Jonah G's question. Um, I think Silver Banshee, because she has the scream. Yes, Black Canary is skilled, but if we're going by our Arrow version, she's not that skilled compared to the comics and compared to Green Arrow, so I, s I say Silver Banshee. Uh, what happens to Sam and Ruby after Supergirl Season 3? This is still Jonah G. Um, they just went off and they are, I believe, living somewhere else. I don't know, or I don't remember where. Um, but yeah, I think they're just out there, just relaxing, having a good time. And I think they should return, hopefully for the hundredth episode. I think that would be great. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure. I think they're just living a normal life. Um Is Carlos actually leaving the Flash? Uh I believe so, but for now he could totally change his mind. But it seems like he's actually kind of like rooting to move on to say Broadway, which he was before, that's like his main thing was actually performing in theatre. Alright, moving on to the next question, we're sort of nearing the end of this. Um, does Nora actually have a twin? And this is asked by Gabby10205. Um, so in the comics, Dawn, which is Nora in the TV show, she has a twin, so I think in a different version of the timeline, she probably has a twin. As I've been theorizing about recently, but I don't think our version has a twin. 
Alright, moving on to the next question. Favourite Black Canary, Laurel, Sarah, Dinah, why? My favourite Black Canary is Sarah, definitely. Um, she's the original, and I loved it when she first appeared, when it was just so mysterious, like, who is this person, like, fighting people, being a badass in the dark? And, yeah, uh, I just don't think uh, Laurel was developed much as Black Canary. I love Laurel herself as the DA, but... Yeah, I don't think she was very well developed, and uh, Dinah, I'm not a massive fan of, I think, was it last season, season 6, she was bad, but then she was good in season 5, so I'm very mixed on Laurel and Dinah in terms of Black Canary. Alright, let's move on, uh, why did you start YouTube, Freddy, Gemi the ass, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, um, I started YouTube, like I said, I, I'd always done videos and stuff, you know, as, as most kids do. Um, I did it on Minecraft and CSGO and mainly video games, and I got like 100 subs or like 300 subs at most, which was awesome at the time. Um, so I did that, so I'd always, you know, made videos, edited videos and did stuff like that, like graphic design and stuff, because it was a passion. Um, so that's why I started, but then uh, why I started these videos, like I explained earlier, is to do with like having the ideas in my head, having this knowledge and sort of understanding of comics, even if I hadn't read every single comic, I sort of got the gist of most of it, and I loved the shows, that was the main thing, I loved the show so much, so that's why. Alright, moving on to the next question. So... Um, Minecraft Pro zero, 706 asks, this is kind of personal, but what gives you the motivation to continue watching these shows even when they start to go downhill? Well, my main motivation is I've always loved all of these shows. I love them, and if any of them got cancelled, it would break my heart, and that's the reason. It's because even if I perhaps don't like the season, like I hated Arrow Season 4, or like I really hated The Flash Season 4, and I'm a little bit mixed on Supergirl Season 4, even though I really do like a lot of it. It's that core love, because I love so so much about the shows, and I love these main characters, and the people surrounding them. And I have this sort of desire to continue, because I love them, and I love who they were, or, or perhaps who they are right now, and who they're developing to be. And so yeah, that's my main motivation. For continuing to watch these shows. Alright, moving on to the next question. Um, do you think Nora has made a new record with 53 time changes, says Cyber Phoenix? Um, yes, I, I do think so. Alright, moving on. Um, do you think that Barry will disappear at the end of season 5? I don't know what the cliffhanger will be, I think Nora will vanish, I think that's what's going to happen. Um, is Harrison Wells the only other Harrison Wells that is like the original world? Says the Doctor, that's, that's the person's name on YouTube. Um, the, is there a different version of Harrison Wells that is very similar, I'm guessing? Um, I guess. I guess there's probably lots of different versions, like sort of parallel versions. Alright, moving on to the next thing. Last thing. Um, do you think Maggie and everyone will re return for the upcoming 100th episode of Supergirl? Uh, yeah, I do. I think they need to, and I think it's stupid if they didn't, because if you look at the Flash, they returned all the villains, and then Arrow, we had all the villains, and then we had Tommy, and we had Moira, even if it's just for like a few seconds, or a few minutes, or something, it's 100% worth it, and I think, with it being the 100th episode, surely, surely they're going to return mon Wynn, Win, Maggie, Cat Grant, all of those people, maybe even like some of the people that way back in the distance, like Maxwell Lord or something like that, that would be interesting. Um, okay, let's answer this last question, and this is again from Megumi, sorry, Megumi Inoi. I think I just butchered her name, I'm very sorry. Um, 
Alright. Um, okay. Do you think the best DC TV show will hire back all the DC characters they did in there, but show for the upcoming Crisis on Infinite Earth storyline, including Smallville, Birds of Prey, etc.? Oh, I get it. So, do you. I think you mean. Will DC actually bring all those characters in for Crisis on Infinite Earths? Those characters that are old, like from Smallville, from, you know, films and stuff. Um, I think there's a possibility because we saw those Smallville suits in the crossover, so perhaps yes. Um, but it remains to be seen. But yeah, I think there's going to be lots of different versions of characters, even though it, it might be just for like a few minutes or something like that. But yeah, so. That is it, that is my Q&A, so thank you guys so much for watching this video, I'm sorry if I keep on looking away from the cameras, looking at my phone, looking at the screen and stuff like that, so hopefully this video was good, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this Q&A, do you want to see more Q&As, perhaps leave some more questions below if you want some more Q&As very soon, and I'm sorry if I forgot to mention your name, uh, again, I was just sort of just flicking through my phone, um, at the Q&A questions, so sorry about that, but anyway guys, I will see you guys later, goodbye.